Welcome back, True Seeker. Corey Bush tells APAC to be afraid. And she does this a day after losing the primary for her election. But look at this ritual. APAC stands for the American Israel Public Affairs Committee, which has that gematria of 666, as we've covered before. That number from Revelation, Revelation 13, which follows Revelation 3, where it talks about the synagogue of Satan, those who claim to be Jews but are not. And, of course, Revelation also has that verse 114 through 16, where you get the only physical description of Jesus in the Bible, and it's someone with hair like wool and darker complected skin. And again, you read the book of Enoch, you get the idea that the Hebrews or Jews in the Old Testament are darker complected people with hair like wool. Again, there's a story in the book of Enoch about an albino son of Noah. But anyhow, think of all the pieces that we're laying out here. Again, the synagogue of Satan mentioned in Revelation is about those who claim to be Jews but are not. So you think about, okay, the evidence points to darker complected people being the Jews. Hello, Hebrew Israelites. Modern day times, we refer to lighter complected people from Kazaria as Jewish. The people who are in Israel today who make up APAC. So here you have a black woman telling APAC to be afraid. So just follow the pieces of the puzzle we're putting together here. But the American Israel Public Affairs Committee, again, 666, the number of the beast, today is 87. Number of the beast equals 87. You know where, what else could fit in here? The word slavery is 87. A lot of slavery in the Old Testament. We've seen some rituals with 87 in black history. Names like Martin have that gematria, 87. Today's date numerology also is 59. 8 plus 7 plus 20 plus 24 is 59. Corey Bush's full name is Corey Anika Bush, which equates to 59. That number also goes with Revelation, where you learn about 666, the synagogue of Satan, Jesus having hair like wool. But of course, 59 is also the number stamped all over black history. Negro, slave, Rasta, blues, all equal 59. Black History Month ends... Typically on the 59th day of the year, Motown came out in 59. My book from 2017, Letters and Numbers, chapter 18, about the racial code of 59 as well as 42. Let's not forget the New Testament begins with the 42 generations to Jesus, another number stamped all over black history. But yeah, you think this is an accident that they got um, one of the few black female politicians in Congress? as the top story on the very racist network, Fox News. Again, Fox News is a very racist network. They always just got to do little chippy comments, targeting black people, putting out the typical programming, trying to make it seem like they're a more dangerous race. They're more likely to steal. They're more likely to kill. Especially Sean Hannity. But Sean Hannity's like, I'm cool with black people. Look, Stephen A. Smith comes on my show. Talk about Uncle Tom. Anyway, it's no accident this story comes on this day. And again, you learn the little biblical code of letters and numbers known as gematria or in Greek isopsophy. Uh, you just see how they put it together each day. So... And Fox News is making it seem like, oh, what a crazy lady to go after APAC. Again, remind me why there's so much support for Israel. Uh, the biggest violators of the Geneva Convention in the history of the world. Constantly murdering brown people. Just like the uh, nation that subsidizes Israel. Us. <laughs> the U.S., the United States of America. 